Hello YouTube! My name is Wade, you might have seen some of my other videos, either gardening or flying, we do a lot of that, but uh, today we're going to do something a little bit different. Uh, I recently made a, a knife for a friend of mine, and of course, you know, every good knife needs a sheath, and I had visited somebody's leather shop where he does custom gun holsters. I was pretty impressed with what I saw but he uses a hydraulic press to form the leather around the, uh, the blanks that he, you know, to get the mold. And I said, well, you know, that would work great if you could do it with a, uh, not a hydraulic press, a uh, vacuum press. That's great, but I don't have a vacuum press, which got me thinking, you know what? I have my vacuum sealer I used to put food away. Hmm, I wonder if I could use that. Well, there it is, a vacuum sealed, vacuum pressed knife sheath. Follow along, we're going to see how we did it. Okay, what I have here is, they call this ram board. Um, it's pretty much like the stuff you find on the back of a, a notepad of paper. Uh, contractors put it down on the floor to keep you know, all the workers going in and out of the house from messing up the floors, but it, it's a good analog for leather, the way it bends and everything. So we're gonna put the knife in here, fold it around, trace it a little, and just kind of see what we're gonna need for our template for the leather. So we're gonna start here. I already kind of, I put a square edge on it and folded it so I've got a nice you know, I know where the spine is, so to speak. Actually, we'll do that. So, <coughs> we're gonna put our knife in here about, eh, about halfway up the handle. And we're pretty much just gonna trace the blade and leave room, you know, half inch, half inch, a little more, we can trim it down later for stitching and the rivets and everything. And I like to leave a little bit more at the tip because in, in the past I've had problems with the rivets, you know, hitting the tip of the blade with that one, it does it. But you live, you learn, you know? The best way to learn this stuff is to just do it. So I'm just gonna trace just like that. And that gives you a good idea of what our template's going to look like. A little darker so you can see it on the camera there. I can see it fine, but the lighting in here isn't good. I'm sorry, guys. So, that's going to be the first, half, first part of it. Pull out the trusty Leatherman. I don't go anywhere without this thing. And we're going to cut it out. And that noise you probably hear in the background is a text message from the girlfriend. Hi, Kathy. Can't answer you right now. And I don't know, I watch a lot of, <clears throat> excuse me, I watch a lot of videos. And I tell you always, you know, wear your safety gear. So make sure you have your safety glasses on, your hearing protection, your, let me see, respiratory protection because you could possibly put dust in the atmosphere. I mean, come on guys, get real. You can figure this out. It's not that hard. Okay. Now we check it for the fit. The knife goes in. We got plenty of room. Yep, and that's what we're going to do. Now, we're going to go from here. We're going to transfer it over to leather and cut it out and do it again. Cut the leather out off camera. You didn't need to see me cut a piece of leather out. And uh, I'm going to take this over to the sink. We're going to get it wet, form it around the knife, throw it in the vacuum sealer, and see what happens. So that's where we're at. We'll be back in just a minute. 
Okay, here we go, the moment of truth. I got my leather all nice and wet, nice and flexible and pliable. We're gonna put the knife in. Get it about where it's supposed to be and start to mold it. I already pre-made a bag for the vacuum sealer, so. Just kind of mold it a little bit. And I don't know if this is gonna work. It, it was an idea I had the other day, and again, we can always trim this down. The leather's a little big. But it's an idea I had the other day on my way to work. And we're gonna see if it works. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna put it up on YouTube anyway. So we put that in there. Try to get the leather. Oh, come on. It's being difficult. Trying to get the leather nice and even around the blade is what I'm trying to do here. So, let me put that in there again. And then we're gonna put it in the vacuum sealer and use this as a press. Looks like it worked. Uh, molded the leather pretty nicely. All right, it is now vacuum sealed in there. And let's see if this shows up. It actually did a pretty nice job of molding the leather to the knife. So, let that sit for just a few minutes. Work it with my fingers a little bit. And we're gonna see. I'm gonna pull this out in a minute and work the leather around the handle so it's a nice custom mold, but I'm trying to get all the creases out in the leather and everything. I'm thinking that worked actually really well. Um, well, let's see what happens. Okay. I'm going to take my Sharpie here and just work the edges a little. I'm just going to use my fingers. I think that looks pretty good. We're gonna leave this dry overnight. I'm gonna try to rub out. It picked up, uh, I didn't count on that, it picked up some of the lattice type shape from the vacuum bag. But we're just gonna mold this a little bit. Let me grab a paper towel. Here, we'll get a little bit of the moisture out of it. I wish I could leave it under the, in the vacuum overnight, but I can't. And this is gonna be the outside, the visible side. Let me get on camera here. And let me back out. This is gonna be the visible side when you're wearing it on your right side. 
So I'm gonna take care to mold this a little bit more and make it look a little nicer. And we'll find out tomorrow um, how it comes out. I'm gonna leave this dry overnight and we'll go from there. I'll be back with another segment to show you how the, the sheath came out. Alrighty, we're gonna do a little follow-up here. You watched us make a knife sheath that was vacuum molded. Uh, we didn't use any kind of commercial vacuum press, we just used a food saver that you use to put your food away. Um, here's the sheath, it came out very well. If you look, uh, we I'll, I'll go in depth in just a minute, but you can get a real good profile. It, uh, I think it's a process I'm going to try again. <clears throat> so I'm going to pause this for just a second, and I'm going to go over the sheath itself, because that's what this is, video is about. Um, and I will probably film, because I know I'm going to get questions from some of you guys, I'm probably going to do a little little segment on the knife itself, that'll be a separate video. And I might even follow that up with a recording of Eric's reaction when I give him the knife. So we'll see what happens. But uh, we'll do an in-depth in on the, you know, up close on the sheath in just a moment. Okay, time for the follow-up here. Uh, what you see is the finished sheath. I followed it up with a pair of Chicago screws. Um, and I just stitched it up with a regular old speedy stitcher all. I did everything by eye. You know, this wasn't supposed to be a factory looking knife. This is completely handmade as a gift for a friend of mine. Um, for the leather finish, <clears throat> I used my own formula that I kind of, eh, cruising the internet I came up with. It's pretty much 50% Neat's Foot Oil and 50% Beeswax. And it gives a nice shine, nice color to the leather. Um, you can see the belt loop there. But what I want you to see, specifically right here, is the contour to that sheath that you got from the vacuum sealing process. And uh, it fits real snug around the handle. You're not gonna, there's no way you're ever gonna lose this knife by accident. You actually have to kind of grab it and then push with your thumb and pull the knife out. Let's see if I can get it. So, there you go. That's how you can make a leather knife, knife sheath at home with a vacuum sealer. Come back and see what we do next time. Thank you.